Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is your work at home mom April here today with a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can brand your videos. What I mean by branding is add your own custom subscribe photo or you can just put subscribe in whichever color you like on one or all of your videos. Um, first things you're going to need to do is um, either go to Chrome or go to Safari, whichever search engine that you prefer and um, type in PNG YouTube subscribe button and then um, click on the images and I've already done so but what you would do is look for something like this that it has the checkered background um, to display that it is a PNG button you would hold down on that the one that you find that you want go ahead and hold down on that Or you can keep, you know, looking until you find one that you're really wanting. Hold down on it. Click on save the image. And it would come back out of here. And myself, I'm going to go into Chrome. And I'm going to go to www.youtube.com. And go over to the right of your screen the top where it says www.youtube where those three lines are and click on where it says request desktop desktop you see that mine is grayed out that's because I'm already in desktop mode this is the only way other than going to a desktop um, that I know that you can access these settings okay once you've done that you're gonna need to go to my channel which is over in the drop down on the left then once you get to your channel, you will scroll over to Video Manager. Wait for that page to load. And in there you should see all of your videos. And on your left side, you're going to click on Channel. Wait for that drop down to appear. Zoom in. And click on Branding. Once that page has loaded, this is what you should see branding branding watermark the channel branding element to overlay on your videos add a watermark and then you're going to need to read these instructions for best results use uh, transparent and just one color now um, i've seen people use multiple colors but that is your preference and the file size needs to be one megabyte click on choose your file um, take a photo your photo library or maybe you have them in the cloud. I'm going to click on photo library all photos and I'm going to use this one and then you're going to click on save and then your upload watermark it's going to give you a preview of what it looks like and then you're going to save that And then you're going to have a few options over on your right side, your custom start time. Um, you can do it at the end of your video. You can customize it or entire video. I'm going to do entire video and I'm going to update that. And then once it's been updated, you're going to see here on the top left, it's going to say that, you know, your changes have been saved successfully. Okay, I'll update that, make sure that it has, and then I'm going to go back to my channel, and I'm going to watch one of my videos to make sure that those changes have been made successfully, and there you have it, right there on my video, the bottom right corner, if I click on that, it's going to say wake at home mommy. And that will lead you back to my YouTube channel. And there you have it. This is how you can add a subscribe button of your choice to each one of your YouTube videos or just one. Um, you could also customize that. Um, in a later video, I will show you how you can customize that. Thank you for watching. Um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe.
please feel free to leave any comments you'd like in the bottom of any suggestions or anything you'd like to know, and I will do my best to help you. Thank you for watching. This is your work-at-home mom.